Unit 2, Lesson 16, Solving More Ratio Problems. Number 1. Describe a situation that could be represented with this tape diagram. There are a total of 30 fish in a lake, 18 bluefish, and 12 greenfish. There are 30 fish in a lake, 18 bluefish to 12 greenfish. Number two, there are some nickels, dimes, and quarters in a large piggy bank. For every two nickels, there are three dimes. For every two dimes, there are five quarters. There are 500 coins total. A. How many nickels, dimes, and quarters are in the piggy bank? Explain your reasoning. So we know that there's a total of 500 coins. So when we have two dimes, we have five quarters. For every two nickels, there are three dimes. Two nickels, three dimes. So if for every two dimes, there's five quarters. Let's double the amount of dimes down here, so it becomes four. Let's double the amount of quarters, so it becomes 10. I'm gonna double the amount of nickels, put it down here and double the amount of dimes and put it down there. I think I'm going to have to erase the total and I might have to add to this grid. Two dimes. If we were to multiply that by three, we would get six as we have right here. So let's multiply the amount of quarters by three. So we keep the same ratio. Five quarters times three would be 15. Well, the good thing is, is now we know how many nickels, dimes, and quarters we have in this row right here. When we have four nickels, we have six dimes and 15 quarters for a total of 25. Now, since we know that there are 500 coins total, we just have to figure out what number times 25 equals 500. And that's gonna be times 20. So 25 times 20 would give us 500. 15 times 20 gives us 300. 6 times 20 gives us 120. 4 times 20 gives us 80. So if we add 80 plus 120, that's 200. 200 plus 300 equals 500. So to answer this question, we have 80 nickels, 120 dimes, and 300 quarters. 80 nickels, 120 dimes, and 300 quarters. B, how much are the coins in the piggy bank worth? Four dollars worth of nickels, twelve dollars worth of dimes, seventy-five dollars worth of quarters. Four dollars plus twelve dollars is sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars plus seventy-five dollars is ninety-one dollars. The value of all the coins totals ninety-one dollars. Number three, two horses start a race at the same time. Horse A gallops at a steady rate of 32 feet per second, and horse B gallops at a steady rate of 28 feet per second. After five seconds, how much further will horse A have traveled? Explain your reasoning. One second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Horse A goes 32 feet per second, and horse B goes 
28 feet per second. So we're just counting by 32. So 32 plus 32 is 64. I'm gonna add 32 to 64, 96. Add 32 to 96. Add 32 to 128. Well, 120 plus 30 is 150 and two plus eight is 10, so 150 plus 10 would be 160. So after five seconds, horse A would have gone 160 feet. Horse B, we're just counting by 28, so 28 plus 28 is 56. 56 plus 20 is 76. 76 plus eight should be 84. 84 plus 20 is 104, plus eight more is 112. 112 plus 28, so 112 plus 20 is gonna be 132. 132 plus eight should be 104. So after five seconds, horse B would travel 140 feet. How much further will horse A have traveled? Well, if horse A traveled 160 feet and horse B only traveled 140 feet, that means that horse A traveled 20 feet more. Horse A traveled 20 feet more in five seconds than horse B. Number four. Andre paid $13 for three books. Diego bought 12 books priced at the same rate. How much did Diego pay for the 12 books? Explain your reasoning. $13 for three books. Diego bought 12 books at the same rate. So we need to turn the three into a 12. And we do that by multiplying it by four. Three times four is 12. And now we need to multiply the 13 times four. Diego bought 12 books for $52. Number five, which polyhedron can be assembled from this net? Well, it's gonna have a triangular shaped base, triangular shaped base, and it's going to form a pyramid. It's going to form a triangular pyramid. Number six, Find the area of the triangle. Show your reasoning. If you get stuck, consider drawing a rectangle around the triangle. This is a two by three triangle. So a two by three triangle. This one over here is a one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five. A three by five. This is two by one, two, three, four, five. So this down here is a two by five, two by five. So we need to get rid of these triangles. If we subtract the three areas shaded in purple, it would leave us with the area that they gave us that's in blue. So I drew a five by five square. Five by five is 25 units squared. This large square that I built around their triangle is 25 units squared. I need to subtract the areas of these, of these three triangles. Two times three is six. Half of six is three. Three times five is 15. Half of 15 is seven. Half of 15 is 7.5. Two times five is 10. Half of 10 is five. 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, bring down the 0.5, so we need to subtract 15.5 from 25, 0 minus 5, we can't do that, so we're going to have to borrow, 10 minus 5 is 5, 4 minus 5, can't do that, going to have to borrow, 14 minus 5 is 9, 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have 9.5 units squared. The area of the blue triangle is 9.5 units squared or nine and a half square units. Congratulations. You have completed unit two, lesson 16, solving more ratio problems.